What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of American Horror Story. This will be season uh, season one, episode ten. I was meant to say episode ten, not season ten. As always, a quick uh, little recap. But I'm going to try and like, slim it down to at least four or five minutes because I feel like my recaps before I watch each episode are like a bit long because the last two or three have been about ten minutes. So I'm going to try and keep it as like quick as possible. So obviously, the big thing was the whole twin thing. Flashback to Haunted of the Hill House, by the way, for that twin thing. But yeah, the twin thing in Murder House is that each of the twins have a different father. And it's been confirmed that Ben is definitely one of them. And it's not been confirmed that Tate is, but I can almost guarantee it now because there's no one else. So it's Tate and Ben. And we saw Constance talking to her friend, the... Um, I don't know what the word is for Constance's friend, but she can speak to spirits or so she says and she said a story about some Italian Pope opening up a box but the gist of it was that the Antichrist is going to be born and the only way it's going to be the only way it's going to be born is if uh, something from the spirit world crosses over to like the human world by getting a human pregnant which sounds absolutely bizarre and in no way that would happen in real life because obviously they don't they don't exist but maybe that maybe the pope story is true they believe the only way the antichrist is going to come if if the spirit world crosses over with the human world by impregnating a human but i guess that's you know that's their beliefs and stuff uh but for the sake of this murder house i'm going to believe it because obviously I have to believe it because there's actual ghosts and spirits walking around murder house so I'm going to have to bite my tongue on that mum but yeah that was like the kind of main news that was that was sort of the twist at the end it wasn't really a twist it was more confirming that a little devil might be on the way but I did say how would they be able to differentiate the two babies at a young age because obviously they're not going to do anything bad are they if one of them's the devil and one of them's good. Unless as soon as it comes out, it starts swearing its head off. But I don't see that as a possibility. I'd say realistically, they'd have to get into their teens to actually show any sign of, I don't know, aggression or anything to do with, like, the Antichrist. Yeah, that was basically, like, the main kind of story in that episode. Everything else was, like, side stories, kind of. Like, the whole woman being found dismembered because she was gassed by the dentist guy didn't really have any relevance to the main story obviously Moira showed her true self to Ben she said you're finally starting to see the house as it is and the last thing I want to recap on is that Hayden wanted uh, Ben to like reciprocate her feelings at the gazebo and then Ben said I don't love you I never will and then Hayden was like sort of like angry but saying accepting it well accepting it and then she kind of stitched up the security guard for sleeping with Vivian, even though she knows it's Tate. She knows Tate is the dad. But she just wants there to be a little scuffle between Ben and the security officer as probably revenge for getting her killed, impregnating her, and breaking her heart. Anyway, let's get on with episode 10. I might actually try it with subtitles off. No, I'm not. I'm not. Okay, let's get this, do this. Ladies and gentlemen, the ham. 1994 again. Uh, now who wants to say grace? Oh, mother, may I? Where's Bo? A big thank you for blinding the asshole that's doing my mother. So that he can't see what everybody knows. She doesn't really love him. Amen. Okay. I'm turning the subtitles off because Tate said the word asshole, But the subtitles said cocksucker. So I'm just going to turn the subtitles off because... They're making absolutely no fucking sense. You have allowed me to explore another facet of myself. Yeah, I love the theater! No, Daddy! You're a smart girl. You know he killed our brother. Stop it! Bo died in his slumber of natural causes. Now you know he had a respiratory ailment. Your brother's in a better place. He suffered with every breath that he took. He only suffered because of you. Okay, I get now why Tate, the other episode, said about the therapy sessions that he's 
starting to understand how much he hates his mum. And I was like, I don't know, I don't get why he hates her. Now, but now I know he just he's right. He you know Bo got killed because she was neglecting him, and he hates Larry because she cheated. He cheated on his wife with Constance. Uh, his dad ran away when he was six. He's got a lot of stuff going on in his head. And I also noticed Larry's face is actually intact after his wife and kids were set on fire. Open a can of worms there regarding his face. Um, I'm guessing he gets burnt at some point. But who burns him? I'll have to find out. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Is this what actually happened now? Oh shit! Oh, I don't know how to feel. That was quite. A, that was kind of sick. Because Larry actually is, I don't, I like him, but I don't like Larry, but do I agree with Tate doing that? Obviously not in real life, but in this story, I do. For smothering Bo, you deserve that, Larry. Sorry, son. I agree with with what Tate did there, but I don't agree with what he's he was about to do before he done that, or after he done that with the school. Because the school kids didn't do anything to you, Tate. Unless he had a personal vendetta against those kids and that school. If it was just a random school, then I don't really I don't really get that. But how you doing? Ev, I owe you a very big apology. She doesn't even look pregnant. But you'll be able to come home in a day or two. I promise. Fuck that. I'm not going back to that house. There we go, Vivian. You're speaking some sense. Finally. Oh Constance Langdon. Yes. I'm Detective Granger. This is Detective Barrios. May we come in? Who's this for? She's murdered multiple people. If you could just confirm for us that that is Travis Wanderley. Oh. Oh, yeah. I didn't know where else to turn. I needed some... human... contact, I suppose. I'm so She's wiping around. around as she walks off. I mean, how much... She's acting. Tragedy, how much loss can one woman endure? So beautiful. She gonna do something? Not like you. Oh. Constance, Constance. That's why you killed him, isn't it? No. Huh? Because you knew I desired him like I could never desire no, no, you. No, 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 you got it wrong. Where's Tate? <laughs> Listen, don't be mad. Tate always comes up behind her. I love you. Spend the day with me. You can play Scrabble if you want. I'll even let you win. I can't. I promised my dad. So go tomorrow. It's not like they're going to miss you for one more day. We spoke to the Korean gentleman at the corner store. He remembers your boyfriend and all the awful fights he used to have. Oh, those Koreans, they're so suspicious, you know, ever since Hiroshima. Oh, that couldn't be. That's a concealed weapon. That couldn't have been so carrying? more obvious. Why don't you come down to the precinct, Mrs. Langdon? Oh, she's getting framed. Framed for the murder. Why is that bear I flies? What I tell you, all these old houses, they got crawl spaces of like three feet. It's like a gated community for vermin of every sort. Crawl space under the floorboards, yeah? That's right, you have been touched by a fair amount of tragedies. Lots of people dying near you. Let's see, there was your son. Uh, Bo. Bo, was it? How old was he when he died? Bo Regard was a mere boy, taken too soon by his condition. Most people would be broken by the death of their children. She's a bit like Cersei, isn't it? All her, th all her three kids have been killed. My husband ran away. Oh. From me, from his responsibilities. It never bothered you that he just disappeared? Oh, man. 
good idea though, to be fair. Once I discovered that he had cheated, Hugo meant no more to me than dog shit. The Verminator is here. Nowhere to run. I've got a feeling it's a body. If there's Keep flies, it'll right. be like rotting flesh, right? You're right. You ready to meet the maker? Or is he gonna get killed? Oh my god! Oh my god! What? What? Whoa! What the fuck? You need to stay and repent for the countless innocent lives you've stolen. Why is Tate killing everyone? Nah, but seriously though, what is Tate guarding down in that crawl space? If there's bare flies. Oh, here we go. This might be the answer. What? Help me. Travis, come play with us. Yeah, I'll be right there, girls. That? Who's that? Those girls. Oh, they're yeah. his daughters. Margaret and Angela. Found them hiding down here. Sweet kids. Thank you. Best tea ever. He's so good. Whoa. For them. Lorraine. I don't think I've ever seen Margaret take anyone so quickly. Lorraine, I'll see to you with that constant rots in prison for what she did to our family. Constance didn't do anything to our family. Yeah, it was you. She didn't break any vows. Hmm? That was you. Oh, when they all disappear just like that. Oh shit. Go on, Ben, you got some strength. There we go, baby. Bang. Sick son of a bitch! Show your face! Who are you? He has to win the fight. Ben has to win the fight. Now he's rolled up. He's got anger. Bring my wife! Bring my wife! Bring my wife! Let's fucking go, Ben. Show me your face! Yeah, go on, just take. Ugh. No. Oh, the sh yes. Please don't kill Ben, Tate. The reason I'm not killing you for her. If we take these, we can stay here. We can play with Beauregard. We can play games, watch videos. We can be together forever. You want us to commit suicide? Come on, Ben. I know how to do it so that it won't hurt. Can we do it in the bathtub? Why? Because it's warm and nice and I can light some candles. OK, but we have to go now. I'll, I'll go run the bath. Ben's got to wake up. Ben has to wake up. How can they not see her? Wait, what? What did you do to me? You have to stop. Let's just do what we said we would. Dad, where are you? The hell? Is Violet dead? She didn't take those pills though. Please, I don't want to die. I have to show you something. And then you're free to go wherever you want. I promise I won't stop you. I'm mad confused. <laughs> I'm thinking back to that time when she overdosed, but Tate stopped. She like, he like done that and she threw it up. That's the only time I can think of. So weird. I'm guessing this is where the flies are coming I'm from. It's all starting to make sense now. Come on. Or is he going to show her the, the exterminator guy? 
Fuck. Oh, that's fucked up. So she threw up some and she was still alive, but then she died. That's when the camera cut. How's I supposed to know that? Siri's playing tricks on me. How are you supposed to guess that? So, all this time I thought I was protecting you. But you were protecting me. Has Ben woken up yet? I've wanted to do since I first saw you. It's you and me together for always. As much as that sounds fun, it might get a bit boring and a bit repetitive after a while. So Larry's turned himself in for Constance. There's got to be a deeper meaning behind this. I can endure it all if you'll just say those words. You've done all that for her to say she loves him. I know you loved me once, Constance. Just say it. And I can face whatever may come. She's gonna do it, in it. She's gonna say no. Let him rot there forever. I know. I know. Constance's mind thought process. Yeah. Well, you fucked it, didn't you, Larry? You fucked it. That was the end. Holy. So that was episode ten. Two episodes to go. First, we're going to talk about Violet, man. Uh, all those flies being around the fruit and then coming from the floorboard and then the exterminator going in. I kind of gathered that there would be a body down there, but I thought it would be like from a previous kind of murder before they moved in. I thought it would be like last episode's opening with the whole dentist girl who wanted to be famous. I thought it was going to be one of those, but it was actually Violet. I'm not sure how I feel. And obviously that explains why she hasn't been to school in... 16 days or something, 19 days. But how did it take her that long to find out that she was dead? So she never left the house once, not thinking she was alive still and that she could leave the house whenever she wants. She didn't leave the house once, even to go to the shop or something to get like a can of Coke. 16 days. 16 days. Not not leaving the house. But she did kind of, she left the house when Vivian... When Moira told Vivian to leave the house and then Vivian grabbed Violet, she left the house there, unless she has to go outside the property, like outside the gates. Yeah, they can, because Hayden was at, on the gazebo with Ben last episode. Okay, so they can go around the perimeter of the house then. But that's mad, though. I'm only annoyed because the scene where Violet actually overdosed and then Tate dragged her to the bath, put his fingers down her throat to throw it up, she did throw it up, started crying, and then it cut there. So it makes you think she's still alive. That's what annoys me. Like, it cut there. Basically, the, the ending of that scene was her dying. But you didn't know that, because the scene cut. The scene cut in is, was actually her cutting from life, you know? Her body looked mangled, though. Oh, It was like, in a curled up position like mouth open oh that's horrible horrible image but what's she gonna do now though because she kind of she was kind of l laughing with Tate when they were playing cards and then she kind of looked at him when she said this is this is what we're gonna do forever and then she kind of looked at him a bit of music played you know but whether or not she continues their relationship in the spirit world and Ben was still asleep as well Ben was still asleep but now Tate's fucked up because Ben saw that Tate was in the Gimp outfit. And now somehow, somehow, Violet is going to have to tell Ben that she's actually dead. But Ben ain't going to believe it. Unless Violet holds his hand whilst they go outside and then she disappears and he's back inside. That's really the only way. Oh, or they could show, she could show him her body. Um... I'm guessing that's the end of Larry as well. I think that actually is the end. That's the last we see of him, I, th I, I believe. I mean, Constance said to him, you're going to be here for the rest of your life. So I'm guessing he's doing life 
for the murder of Travis. But he said he's also in there because he needs to pay for all the crimes he's committed, such as killing Bo, smothering Bo with a pillow, committing adultery as well, cheating on his wife, killing Hayden. But I don't think Constant knows about that. I don't think she knows about Larry killing Hayden. But that's another crime he needs to pay for. And now that is, that's one less person to annoy Ben, because Ben was... Ben seems to be getting the thick of it with all these spirits. He must be getting so pissed off. But yeah, now Ben knows that the Gimp outfit guy was Tate. Have we ever seen Vivian and Tate interact? I don't think we have. Apart from obviously having sex, but actually her talking to him and him talking to her in just like a conversation. She might even say who the hell's Tate, because I've not seen them in a scene together. Maybe they're going to play it off as... Tate finished the session with Ben and then hid in the house somewhere and then raped Vivian. They'll probably try and play it off like that, like he stayed after a session. Yeah, we didn't see Hay Hayden that episode either, or Nora. We didn't really hear anything about the twins, twin progression. She doesn't look pregnant at all as well. I'd say she's like four, well, not even four or five months, I'd say like two or three. Yeah, predictions. I might make a prediction. I haven't made one. Usually I like to make predictions, but they all just go out the window, so I kind of gave up. But since there's two episodes left, I reckon, because Ben saw that the Gimp outfit guy was Tate, I reckon he's going to stop Vivian from coming home. Maybe like book a hotel or something for her to stay in so that she's safe. I reckon Violet is going to tell Ben about her being dead. Oh well, no, but how could, then how can they reunite? If Vivian never comes back to the house, then she'll never see Violet again. Oh, that's a, that, that is a tricky situation we've got going. I don't know, I can't even make a prediction because it's just... Every episode is just... It solves one mystery, but then makes another three or four. But I guess that's what TV series does. But anyway, I'm going to end it there. Um, I might even watch episode 11 as well but as always this is episode 10 and if you're watching this now on YouTube it means that episode 11 with my recap beginning and my review for that episode will be up on my Patreon as well as the full reaction uncut, unedited uh, to this episode and the previous 8, 9 previous 9 episodes are on my Patreon as well so if you fancy it, sign up and watch. But if not, then I'll see you for when I next upload episode 11 to YouTube. So take it easy, guys. And I'll see you for episode 11. Cool.